right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have found our trailer. And he's going to get ready to back under it. What I didn't capture on video is, is that when you get, when you're, oh, I'm going to turn this. When you're bobtailed and you're bobtailing up to your trailer, you know, coming along the trailers, when you get your nose of your tractor to the trailer is when you cut your tractor hard to the right. And if you do that correctly, you will be lined up perfectly to back under your trailer straight. Just wanted to add that in there. So now, let's see if he can do this. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. It's pretty, it's lined up pretty good. Trailers at the right height, which is good. Yeah, it could be a little bit lower, but it's, it's going to be all right. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! That's okay, it's training. Let me go tell him what he did wrong here. All right, shut the truck off for a second, put the brakes on. Shut the truck off, I want you to hear me. All right, what you did there, what he had did, was called ringing the bell. What he did was, is when the fifth wheel and the kingpin were coming together, it wasn't perfectly centered. Mm -hmm. That's why when the trailer moved like this and he hit the gas pedal, or the throttle, some people call it, it went and did that number. So, rule of thumb, if you're not dead on center and you feel it, and you feel it, the trailer, and you see the trailer sliding a little bit like this, right? Mm -hmm. Go slow, gentle, finesse. It's all about finesse. There's absolutely no reason to ring the bell. Because why? Because all the crap in the bunk and everything, the coffee, now is all over the place. And it's a mess. Plus, you don't want to damage the equipment. Or break the fifth wheel. Or break the kingpin, for that matter. All right, come on out here. Let's continue on with this process. Now, this is a pretty good case of the landing gear not being low enough when the last guy dropped it. Because they're still on the ground. Now, yeah. I don't know what the weight is on this trailer, what they have loaded in it, but if it's a heavy trailer and you gotta crank this landing gear down, you're going to have a hell of a time. Right. You're going to have to put it in low gear and crank and crank. But it seems like, as you, you could even see, yeah. a little bit of daylight there, right? Yeah. Just a touch. Yep. So it's like right on the mark. It's close. If it was any higher, I would have stopped you. Mm -hmm. But I didn't because it's just on the mark. But it could be a lot lower. And I wanted, to, I wanted you to do this because I wanted you to see... What we were talking about before. Right. Try and lower this landing gear. Let's see what let's see what you can see. That's low gear. Come go to high gear. You should be able to do it in high gear. Pull it all the way up. No, no. That's low gear. Pull it out. There you go. Now, now spin it. Try and spin that forward. It's pretty hard, right? Yeah. That's because the trailer's too high. But keep going. You're good. Keep going. Now stop right there. Now had the trailer been lowered, the landing gear lowered the right way, it would have kind of looked like that. 
But it also depends on who dropped well, it. came up under it. Right, right, yeah. It would have lifted it up off the ground for right, you. Right. You know, or it would have lifted it enough to where that way when the tractor's running and the air suspension would have adjusted and lifted the landing gear completely off the ground. But it depends on the type of tractor that dropped it. Right. It depends on the who, how low the guy lowered the landing gear. A lot of factors. A lot of factors. While you're there, check to see if the registration's in the slot. Always got to make sure you got your trailer registration. Pull it off. It doesn't spin, and you pull it off. I'm trying. Pull it off. Look, 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 look. Just like this, look. Ah. Just go like that. I don't feel nothing over here. Try the other side. <laughs> Ain't nothing in here, man. You sure? All right, let me oh. see. If, let's see if it's up here. Oh, it's up here, I think. Yep, it's up here. Is that in there? Yep. Getting all wet and stuff. That's okay. At least yeah. it's here. Yeah. Pop that back up. All right. So we have our trailer registration. Our landing gear is up. Go ahead and connect your uh, your lines there. I hear it again. I should have put my gloves on. Um, um. Before you put your lines on, what are you looking for? Tell me. Now you tell me. I want to know what you know. Oh, you gonna edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I should leave. I had a whole big bowl of Cheerios. <laughs> I might leave them there. For oh us. man, I'm trapped. All right, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna look at my header board, right? No, no, before you put your lines on, you wanna make sure that your, your gaskets aren't crack okay. broke or deteriorating or whatever. Okay. You wanna make sure that your plug is Good to go, there ain't no fungi in there or whatever. Now hook one up at a time and don't zigzag them. Hook one up at a time. You got all three of them in your hand. I want one at a time. Put, put them back down. Put them down. Put them down. Put one at a time. So that way you're not fighting it. There you go. Blue first, then your electric. There you go. See that? Oh, yeah. That, 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 that's in. You don't have to jam it. It's good. It's good. Jeez. Finesse. It's all about finesse. There you go. Did you check your, uh, to see if your fifth wheel had locked? Did you do a tug test? I have not. not you have yet. not done a tug test. So the first thing before you do your tug test, what are you going to do? Before I do a tug test. Before you do your tug test, because you didn't do it because you rang the hell out of the bell. We haven't done it yet. You're going to check to see what? We're gonna look under it. There you go. So you grab the locking grab jaws, the flashlight and in, grab my flashlight in the door and do such thing. Also, rule of thumb. Look at him, he's got his thumb up. <laughs> rule of thumb. You see this stuff right here? It's called grease from a fifth wheel. Try not to step in it because you know what? It'll get all, all inside in your truck. truck. All in our truck! Checking to see if the kingpin's properly mounted and secure and uncracked damage or bent. I'm also going to check and see Listen if sure the locking jaw is completely around the kingpin. Oh my god. While I'm back here, I'm, I'm going to ensure that the lights in the rear of my tractor are properly mounted, secure, and uncracked damage or bent. are working. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to. Why are you using that trailer. voice? I'm going to check my frames and my cross members and my landing gear. To make sure wow. they're properly mounted and wow. secured and they're not crack damage or bent. Hey, you got a little brown. I'm also going to ensure while I'm here. Holy is shit. I'm going to look at my landing gear and my 
my tractor to ensure that there's proper distance when I turn. Hey, just push in, just push in the trailer brakes now. I want to hear it air up, and I want to see if we have any leaks. You listening? You hear that? That's the trailer filling up with air and the brakes disengaging. <laughs> nice and easy. There you go. Pop them pins out. Trailers, uh, the, the bills say 17,000 pounds. So that's plenty of, not plenty, it's nice and light. Easy. It's all about finesse. It's all about finesse. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All the festivities outside the truck are done. Now we're inside the truck finishing up the paperwork and the uh, routing trip planning information. What? Um, and we're going to go ahead and get out of here and deliver this load. We're going to get live unloaded tonight down the street, basically. We're doing a local load tonight. Call the lumber and they'll let you know that. Mm -hmm. like that. Alright, thank you for what doors again? 34, thank you so much. What's going on YouTube? Getting ready to put this thing to door 34. And uh Rich over here is uh I don't want to say nervous, but uh he's never done a nighttime maneuver and he's never really done 45s and 90s because during school they're teaching them parallels and offsets. They didn't do any 90s, they didn't do any 45s, they really set them up for that. So I'm gonna do this maneuver for him to show him how it's done. So it's what the angle looks like. And uh, with, with all the different obstacles we have over here, we have our door, which over there by Warner 34, and there's trailers right there. So it's gonna be kind of tight. So I'm going to show them what it looks like to see, you know, how the t which way I'm turning the tires and all that good stuff. So without further ado. So you saw there that we had to do a serious, crazy looking maneuver, and the reason why is because of this trailer right here. This trailer is in the way. Even though it's pretty much backed up all the way to the, the rail there, it, would ma it made the offset very hard to get the tractor around without hitting it. So what I did was, is I adjusted, and, and also too with the tandems all the way to the back, it makes the trailer, the reaction time of when the trailer is actually going to start turning, late. Because it's, you know, the tandems are all the way to the back. So what I did was, is, as you saw, is I got up as far as I could. I put my tires where his truck is, right? And then as soon as my tires cleared his truck, I got under it yeah. and came around. Now, as long as, I, as long as you do that, in most scenarios, 
you should be able to clear your obstacle because your trailer is already halfway into the hole. So that's how you, sometimes you can't do a 45, sometimes you can't right. do a 90, sometimes you just gotta wiggle it in. Wiggle it in there. So there you go. So you saw, you kind of saw how, yeah. and then did you notice when I pulled forward and did straighten out, yeah. how I didn't have to fight and go back and forth? Because right. when you do it, when you pull up, you get straight. That's the whole point. You're getting straight, you're getting positioned. You shouldn't have to, you should, shouldn't have to fight going back and forth and snaking it. I even struggled, you see? Had to pull up two times, right? Two or three times? Two or three times? Had to wait for guys to get out of the way. But we're in there. See that? We're good. Next time you're doing it. Done. But now he at least saw what needed to be seen. Because it was a pain in the ass, this trailer here. Freaking thing. I mean, you see how far back the other one is. But this one's a 53 footer. That one's a shorter trailer. But, yeah, we got it done. I think, I, think we, I think we should end the video here. What do you think? Let's end the video here. Oh, wait a minute. Before we end, you gotta see this stuff. This guy here. I don't wanna call him a health nut. I don't wanna call him a health freak. But he's definitely weird. See that? Show me. Show me what we need to see. Yeah, I need to get it in the light, yeah, in the light so people see it. See that? It says non GMO. You don't wanna be looking like a science project. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, because, uh, GMO, by the way, means genetically modified object. Look, I grew up on homogenized milk and... Oh, please. The air we're breathing right now is probably dirtier than that fake pretzel you're eating. Let me taste one. It's good. It's good. Look, look, pretzel crisp, non-GMO, good snack, too big to get some food, yeah, come on, good, 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 try it, they work, it honestly doesn't taste any different than a regular pretzel, but it wasn't a science project. He blinded me with science! <laughs> Are these fat freak? Are these cholesterol freak? Oh, that's a good one, We're out of here, people. On to the next adventure. See you soon.